All right, today I'm going to show you the viscoelastic material. So this is a material that's somewhat deformable, but also a little bit elastic. So as you can see, when there's some impact, there's a little bit of plastic deformation. Or like when I walk around on it, I'll sink into it after a while. And you can see uh, my trails. Like if I walk backwards, you'll see a trail. And you can also kind of, sometimes it will stick to itself as well if, um, if it's at the right speed. And you also get like some, um, say, coiling and buckling behaviors. So yeah, you can run around on it, and then you can use the force to lift it up. Let's see. material is harder to lift up than the water because so you'll see that there's like some plastic deformation so it just create a little hill there let's see if we can can run up the hill I guess Now I'm on top of a little hill. Let's see if I can create other stuff. So I lifted a corner up and folded it around. Let's see, maybe I'll lift that corner up as well. Fold that up. And now these particles, which were the bottom or now here and creates this fun little fold. Alright. Now I'm gonna create a sandstorm. Let's see up down here. This is some very rubbery sand, I guess. Um, let's I didn't fully tweak the variables. I mean, the, the material properties so that it would behave more like sand. But here it is. I'm going to stop the thing now and can lift, oops. Lift up the sand as well, sprinkle it over the elastic. Way. 